Hi, I'm Gordon Logan, I'm chairman and founder of Sport Clips Haircuts. We started Sport Clips in 1993 in Austin, Texas. Currently, we're approximately 1,900 locations in all 50 states. Our stylists uh, come from all different backgrounds, all different parts of the country, different cultures. Well, when we talk to uh, prospective franchisees, the question always comes up is, where do I find the people that I need to staff my stores, which most people don't think about a haircutting company as, as having being a technology company, but in many ways we are. We have a competitive advantage. The this Way Global and IBM partnership uh, brings us a competitive advantage over the others to give them peace of mind that when they come on board, uh, that they will be able to find the quality people they need to staff their stores to be successful. Um, we. Um, take franchising, as a franchisor, we take a lot of responsibility. People are trusting us with, in many cases, their life savings, and so we need to do everything possible to maximize the probability of success. And, and having, using technology to help us to recruit and, uh, the, the people we need to give our franchisees uh, peace of mind and, and enable them to be successful, all of that fits together and makes it a, a um, a real reason why uh, a, a prospective franchisee should choose Sport Clips as opposed to some of the other options out there. We have about 13,000 hairstylists today, uh, so we're going to need to have another 10, 12,000 on top of that to get where we need to be. And in order to do that, we have to use technology and, and the artificial intelligence that this, this way global brings to the picture to enable us to, to attract and retain those people we need to, to realize our dreams and to help us help our franchisees, our team leaders uh, achieve their dreams. Hair industry is really, when you think about it, one of the more diverse industries around. Um, so when you, when you think about diversity and current movements towards more diversity, uh, we feel like, uh, where's everybody been all this time? Hi, I'm Edward Logan. I'm CEO of Sport Clips Haircuts and also the incoming president of ISBN, the International Swan and Spa Business Network, which is a trade association that represents chain salons. There are a lot of amazing people out there who either aren't aware of Sport Clips and the opportunities environment we have to offer, um, or just uh, don't happen to be looking for, uh, for a new place to work right now. Uh, in both those instances, uh, being able to talk to those people and have conversations we wouldn't have otherwise had the opportunity to have um, is a great way uh, to uh, end up forming long-term relationships that never would have happened otherwise. Averages can cover up a lot of good information, right? And so uh, where we're really excited about, uh, about AI and automation um, is really in the, the category of anomaly detection or, or exception reporting. Um, you know, one store may need two people, and one store may need zero people, and one store may need three people, or, or you know, what, whatever the combination may be. And if you just look at the averages, you're, you're really unable to zero in on where your efforts can be best used. Uh, and it takes a human forever, right? Uh, it would take an enormous amount of labor to look through every single store, every single data point. Uh, if we can determine the exceptions or determine the anomalies, and that is kind of our guide for zeroing in on where we can have the biggest impact, it's another way, right, that we're, we're le leveraging the way we can support franchisees. Franchisees are leveraging their time, um, and everybody wins. There are two primary motivations for us working with, with IBM Orchestrate as well as This Way Global uh, as a partnership. Um, one is attracting more stylists that, that'll be successful in our system. There are so many places um, that stylists are, are living and working and interacting with their families and friends. No matter how big your brand is, there are always people that don't have exposure. So we're looking for new ways to reach people and give them the, the Sport Clips story in order to attract them to Sport Clips, keep them at Sport Clips, and again, help them build outstanding careers. Uh, we love technology, but we're a high-touch organization. Uh, client relationships uh, with stylists are built face-to-face. -face. Uh, stylists uh, mostly became stylists because they love people. They love the interaction, they love building the relationship, and clients love that too. I heard, I heard a stat recently that uh, stylists switch tasks up to 30 times a day in our stores. I didn't know that stat. It makes sense when you, when you think about it. We want to decrease that number. We want to enable stylists to do what they do best. Many people are talking about automating labor and replacing labor. We think about it the opposite way. Uh, we believe in automation, we believe in, in AI and machine learning, for the purposes of enabling labor, for the purposes of enhancing labor, for allowing team members to do what they do best, do what they enjoy, make their lives better, 
which supports the whole organization. In the way we're using it and reaching out to passive candidates who may not be looking or may not be aware of Sport Clips, it's uh, access to uh, people who uh, don't know our story and don't know what we offer. And we can be having conversations we never would have had otherwise. It was the timing between when we uh, began to onboard with This Way uh, and when we were able to actually start using the platform uh, was really a, a very short period of time, uh, including integration with, uh, with legacy platforms, some of which are more modern, some of which are, are less modern. We brought on a, a chief digital officer, Jay Singh, uh, who started last August uh, in order to drive uh, a, uh, a more sophisticated, more advanced, uh, rapidly progressing digital transformation. Well, my name is Jitinder Singh. I go by Jay, um, chief digital officer for Sport Clips. I got a call from Edward, um, and uh, he had this very ambitious agenda of driving sport clips to the forefront of uh, beauty industry with the help of digital transformation. So uh, for folks like me who are always driving ch you know, change through digital, that kind of ambition is what you need to really go and do some fun work. So when he said he wants to lead the industry through digital, I said I'm in, that's how I got here. Digital is our tools. Um, and once again, people think of digital as screens, uh, but I think a lot of the time they forget it's the data that really is the, the lifeblood of the screens. But it's really the transformation that's really important. And the transformation, the way I kind of describe it is, think of it as, did your business process become faster? Did it become easier? Uh, did it become less error prone? Uh, did it become less manual? If those things are true, then you have transformed. Become specific with your business problem and get to a metric. This is the metric I want to improve. And then you start looking at what are the drivers of that metric and you apply where of these drivers, where should I apply AI to get a better outcome? We're not building technology for technology's sake. We're making sure that our technology always has an ROI and serves the store level, drives a business metric. We're excited about technology, we're excited about AI and automation, and we're really dedicated to using it in very practical ways uh, that, that have measurable results. Uh, so that's why we're focused on this particular technology. Using IBM Orchestrate in this way global, uh, to attract more people uh, to have great careers with, with sport clips.